everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and this is probably another pre-recorded episode I don't know which order I'm going to upload them but yeah this is a pre-recorded episode which I'm making before I go on holiday because if you don't know I'm on holiday or I will be going on holiday in, in soon so yeah this is a pre-recorded video for when I am on holiday because obviously when I'm out there in America I won't have any computer to record so yeah, no um, recording for a bit. But yeah, anyway, today we're going to be going to Earth for a change. We haven't been to Earth in a while. And we're going to be giving or adding the moon in. So, oh, that option still isn't there. It's so annoying. Because this system is a brand new system I recreated. But it looks like you cannot add moons to planets. It's so annoying. But, oh well. So we'll add a moon in at a reasonable distance. So let's add it about there, maybe. That seems um, pretty far away. So there we go. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving our moon another moon. So sort of like a second version of the video I made a, way, um, a long time back where I gave the moon a moon. But today we're going to be giving the moon a Hattable moon. So we're going to be colonising a little moon around the moon. So yeah, a lot of moons and a lot of um, little objects. We're going to be putting a tiny little object around this that does not get overpowered by Earth's gravity. So we're going to put it about there and let the fun begin. So we want to colonise this thing. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. So... Let's begin with by slowing down time. It's already at a decent temperature actually, but we want to add an atmosphere. So let's add a very, let's add a light atmosphere. So let's just put one of these for a start off. So very, very light atmosphere. And as you can see, it only reflects 1% of light. So yeah, very, very dark planet this would be. Right, so now can we add water or will it all evaporate off? Oh, it looks like it works. Okay, cool. Since the sun isn't a red giant here, it doesn't make all the water evaporate. So as we can see, the moon is already or the moon of the moon. So, how, what should I even call this? Should I call it... Let's just call it Lunar Moon. So, I think Lunar is... Actually, I don't know where the name Lunar comes from, but we can... This Our main moon is also known as Lunar. It's another um, name for it. But yeah, there we go. So, we've got our Lunar Moon now in orbit of the moon around Earth. So, looking good. So, now we just want to check if this um, object actually works. So, if we... Um, I see it is warming up now, but how hot would it go? Oh, no, of course it evaporates now, doesn't it? Dang it. Okay, can we... Oh, whoa. Okay, so is it still going to evaporate? Ah, dang it, that's annoying. Okay, so yeah, it's getting a lot, a little bit too warm now, so we're going to have to um, make it reflect a little bit more light. We'll also add a magnetic field to it, just to keep it going good. So, yeah, there we are. We've got our good old Earth over there very nice see it is losing material but there's not nothing you can do about it for an object of this size see objects of this size hatable yeah it pretty much never happened probably so it is losing a lot of material which kind of sucks but can't really do anything about it sadly so anyways let's get on to the next bit so since it's around earth we're going to give it a nice green sort of effect here so this will basically be a home away from home i'd say so well that is a little too much green because that's a bit of yellow here as well maybe a bit of a desert maybe Okay, what about this colour? Hmm, I don't know about that actually. Actually, let's make it more of a um, icy planet, like a colder looking sort of style, more white, sort of like Christmassy sort of planet. So we've got gr green trees like this, so evergreen trees, and then we're going to have um, a lot of snow around. So sort of like a Christmassy sort of planet here, a little, a little cool, interesting thing. So still looking a lot white though. Where's all the different colours? It still looks pretty much white to me. I don't know where all the other colours are on this. Can anyone spot them there? We can move the atmosphere to um, help out. It doesn't look like there's any... Oh, there's a slight bit of them there. Actually, let's resurface this object with um, hydrogen. So then that should resurface it. Let's remove the water again. So uh, now it's green. Okay, looking good. So let's remove some of the water again like that. So can we see a bit of the green now, please? Okay, oh now there's now there it is. So if we add a bit of water there, so now it looks a little more good actually. So actually what if we would put the white or the green as the main colour here? So a dark green. So now it's very, very green. And now I have all the, the other two colours as white. Yeah, now that looks good. So it's so you can see there's some forests here and then there's a lot of snow plains and stuff like that. So looking good actually, I like that. That's very nice. So it's still orbiting the moon, is it? Wait, wait, what's happened? Oh, the Earth has stolen it. <laughs> okay, let's bring it back to the moon again. So, let's have it like that. Orbit the moon, please. Come on. 
We don't want to have it too close to the moon. I was the moon will eat or destroy it. Come on, orbit the moon. Whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. Look, now that should work. So slow this down. I still lose the material. Can't do anything about that. But is it going to stay around the moon? Okay, so it's going round. Its orbit is a very, very strange, but it seems to be working. It's not getting torn up by the moon's gravity, which is good. So there we go. That should work because Earth's gravity shouldn't be taking it. So if we look here, the moon should stretch out all the way out to here, but I don't know why it doesn't do that. So yeah, there we go. So we've got our lunar moon. Let's make it a little colder, actually. So let's make it reflect a little bit more light. So you can make it a little more realistic looking of its colour. So let's um, cool it down. So we want it about 10... We don't want it to go below into the minuses. So, okay, looks like it is going to. So let's make it... So we want to leave it about there. How warm will that be? Okay, so three degrees. Uh, there we go. We can live on that. It's pretty chilly here, but... Yeah, this this would work. We could live there. Because obviously I know in like um, Antarctica and stuff, I think the coldest temperature ever on Earth was minus 50 something, I believe. So that's the temperature of Mars. So yeah, we could definitely live on this object at some point. So it's only 2 degrees, but let's make it absorb a little more. So yeah, very, very, little, quite chilly object. But yeah, it is possible to live here. So looking good. So now, let's, um, let's turn all this off. Let's go to Earth. Let's see if we can spot that little object in the night sky. And we're going to go and land in... Let's land in um, America somewhere. Alright, let's go below the clouds. I love that feature. So now we're below the cloud levels. So whereabouts is our um, awesome moon? So... Uh, oh, okay, there it is. So you can see our normal moon there, and we can just see... Wait, can we speed this up a bit? Actually, we can just see it there. So it's very, very, very small since it is around the moon, and the moon's already pretty small, but you can just about see it from there. So let's actually go to the moon, or the lunar moon here, and let's actually look at Earth from the lunar moon. So let's go here. Let's land on its surface. We can see our moon there, and we can just see Earth on the horizon there. So looking good. Let's also make this thing spin quite fast. So let's make it 0.3 days. So seven hours. That's a very, very fast rotational speed. So there's Earth there. You can see it there. We've got the moon as well. Very, very nice actually. So we've got. Okay, so now the moon is setting on the um, horizon here. So there we go. Looking very nice. There's our moon set. Now where is Earth? Earth? Where are you at? Okay, there's Earth. So you can see the. Uh, still looking reasonably large in the night sky, so looking good. There's our Earth set. Now if we look around here, we should see the moon be rising. A moon rise. There it is. Looking nice. That is a nice view there. But let's actually try and speed this up and actually get in front of the moon. So if we um, speed this up. There we go. So now we are in front of the moon. Oh, that is... I love this surface. There we go. So you can now see the moon is um, the night sky there. And I actually really like this view, actually. So it's... Um, we land on the surface. I want this to be my thumbnail. I like this. Okay, keep some glitching out. Stop glitching out. Actually, um, oh, where are we gone? Okay, there we go. Just go, just lock onto Earth again to get out of that. So there we are. Um, there we are. Actually, so looking good. Actually, I want to get the um, thumbnail. So let's um, let's do it manually. So let's go right here. Oh, this looks so pretty. <laughs> All right, so let's go below the cloud. Like, oh, that looks so cool. Okay, I want to do it above the um, surface. I want to do it on a piece of land. So let's go this way a bit. Let's land pretty much here. Oh, God. Actually, I'll just do it my own time. I don't want to waste you guys' time doing that. So let's um, speed this up. Oh, slow it down, I should say. So we've got um, there's Earth and then the moon here. So now we just need to check and see if it's doing good. So if we speed this up, hopefully it should stay around the moon. So the temperature's fine. It is... There, it's not losing any water, which is good. So I don't know why it's losing mass if the water isn't disappearing. As you can see here, it's still the same. So it's orbiting the Earth very nicely. And the Moon. And there we are, looking good. Very, very nice. I like that, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. So what we want to do now is... Actually, no, we're done. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help us on the journey to... 800 or 900 subs. I don't know how many subs I have by the time this is uploaded. So hope, maybe we will hit 800 by now, but I don't know. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for more. Help us on the way to one of those milestones. And yeah, if you um, have any ideas for another video, make sure you leave a comment down below, and I'll probably check them once I back, get back from holiday. And yeah, maybe I'll make a video on it. So that'd be pretty cool. So if we um, 
yeah, speed this up. So, um, yeah, like I said, hope you guys will enjoy. Subscribe for more. And make sure you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.